So here we are back at Wheaton Labs to start another permaculture technology jamboree. We stayed the night in this lovely teepee because our room down the hill was booked by somebody else also. But the teepee, even though it got cold outside last night, down in the 40s, the rocket heater bench kept us pretty warm. And uh, I noticed that it performed a lot better, even though it was warm outside, relatively speaking. Uh, we had a good draw with this rocket heater. And I want to show you some of the changes that were made since last time I was here that I definitely like. So this rocket heater in the teepee was designed to test the theory that a rocket heater and a minimum of covering, like this is just the single layer of a single layer of canvas teepee, not the full inner wrap or anything. Um, and it was tested to see if people could live through a winter in here in relative comfort and uh, they managed to keep it in the 40s inside of here when it was I think negative 20 outside so that was definitely a success something that rocket heaters aren't as good at though uh, is drawing when it's not super cold outside so it was in the mid 50s last night and I was worried because the previous iteration of this rocket heater uh, didn't like to start. Well, what was going on was we had the feed tube and the burn chamber and the exhaust comes up through here and radiates warmth into the room, which is great. Comes down, <clears throat> comes around inside this bench and before it continued through the floor under the rocket and then up through that stump of pipe and up and out. And that was just too much uh, exhaust pipe. It cooled down too much. And even though it was right next to the barrel here to try to give it a little warmth to help it draw, it was uh, cantankerous, let's just say. Um, not reliable drawing, especially when it was not particularly cold outside. It was uncomfortably cold outside, but not cold enough to get a good draw. But this new setup here, where the exhaust comes through the bench and goes up over here, it's got a nice little heat shield there around it where it touches the canvas. Keep in mind, this isn't a normal wood stove. There's no creosote building up in there that's gonna catch on fire eventually and burn the whole place down. Um, that uh, chimney here rarely gets uh, above about body temperature. I have not felt it get above body temperature and it drafts just enough there uh, to uh, pull fresh air in so the fire can stay going. But um, this is the change, is that the main change is that the exhaust goes up over here now instead of going down and over behind here uh, and then up. That makes a huge difference in how this thing draws. Uh, I was really pleased with how easy it was to start last night. Just this, this loop seemed like a good idea for keeping more heat in the room but uh, it made the rocket heater difficult to work with. And uh, last night, firing it up, it was nice and easy to fire up. And we used uh, maybe two of these boxes of wood all through the night last night to uh, stay pretty comfortable. 
So that's a big change in the uh, Wheaton Lab TP rocket heater. Uh, that's a good change. Uh, maybe we'll get a floor in here one of these days that isn't all dusty. That would be lovely. Um, time to replaster the cob bench. You can see the plaster's getting a little weak from use. But um, good start to two weeks here. We're doing a permaculture technology jamboree, which means we're building rocket heatery things. We're building a rocket hot tub, a rocket kiln, a uh, rocket uh, oven, and a rocket forge maybe. We're gonna test our hybrid solar rocket food dehydrator that we built last year. Um, yeah, we've got lots of cool stuff going on. There's other people doing other projects, but those are the ones that I remember because they're the ones I'm involved with. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to have more permaculture technology fun here at Wheaton Labs. Follow me at Uncle Mud on YouTube or Facebook.